guys, welcome back to another edition of Draft Wars. In this one, this one comes from one of Param's guys. His name is Hoot Hoot Hike. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyways, he wanted to do <laughs> one where we only scout the first skill, and then we have to go off of that skill on whoever that we fucking draft. This is wonderful, because... It was fucking AIDS last time not being able to to scout. And I, I just have a feeling it's going to be even more fucking AIDS this time because I'm going to get my hopes up and then they're going to be crushing little teeny tiny pieces. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be really, really fun. I love to be challenged. Um, it makes winning fun. Even though I hate to lose uh, and I love to win, it just it makes it fun all the way around because we can bullshit and talk shit and the shit that just comes out of my mouth sometimes with stuff like this I love it so let's get into this I'm gonna spin the wheel right now all so right so you're spinning um I'm not looking either okay uh I'm gonna say uh uh, uh stop nice well, it's this one's 50-50 again. I got the Lions. Okay, that's a pretty decent draft pick. I'm not going to lie. I'm if, spinning by the way, just letting you know. Oh, shit. Three, two, one, stop. I guarantee you this is a top three shit team. Oh, All right, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say I guarantee this team is going to give me a top five pick. I just I have that feeling. It's that Aquarius intuition. Okay. Ah, oh, so the tables have turned, mate. You got the Lions, I got the Bears. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's do this. Wait, wait, hold on. What the hell? Oh, what? Okay, it doesn't matter. But it, down in the Twitter section, it had the Broncos taking Wong. So let's see if they take him because it literally already said he's a franchise quarterback and the Broncos are going to take him. So I'm keen to see if, like, if it's actually, like, legit like that. I didn't know that they made predictions pre-draft. Last time they had a nope. They took Freeney. See what I'm talking about? Like what the hell? Please, please, 49ers, don't take Wong, man. I know that Wong's gonna be good now. Skip it, Dustin. You can do this. They took Wong. No! I'm gonna just trade my pick away now. Dude, I, I'm telling you though, like last time. Last time they, they had that little Twitter story down there for, for that, that's when I drafted that 84 overall quarterback on the Titans, and I sent you that picture. So, oh, like, fuck. So, like, legit, those Twitter stories are fucking true. All right, dude, I've got a very big decision to make. I love my left ends, but I love my Wisconsin defensive players as well. So I've got yeah. Mike Dingle with a 7.5 combine. Great combine report. A-minus top three skill. But then I've got Devon Jeffries left end with a hit power and pretty solid in terms of combine report. Dude, I told you I would take him just because his name is Dingle. I gotta take Dingle, man. I feel like Dingle's definitely gonna be this, the. Uh, I mean, he's Wisconsin, man. Wisconsin's always got my back. Mm -hmm. Let's go, bruh! 79 overall, quick development. Son of a bitch. Here goes the first round. That with the A. That I'm gonna have to take with the A. He's got that A elusiveness, and he's the fastest, fastest three cone, and fastest I'm, twenty yard shuttle. So I gotta take. I'm this guy. telling you, mate, take him. A elusiveness, and he's the fastest, man. You gotta take him. You definitely won this one. Uh, yours was 79, mine was 77. Plus, my guy has slow development. The, I'm pretty the, honestly the like troll I've patrol. Heard... The Troll Patrol, that's right. We're the fucking Troll Patrol. There you go. Troll Patrol, mate. You gotta you knock it on the head. Now, I go. do have a Wisconsin defender already. But there is a Wisconsin running back here. And I know that carrying strongly influences overall. And this guy is at A minus carrying. Terrible combine. Well, not terrible, but subpar combine report. Um, I mean, not, I guess this will show whether Wisconsin out. really loves. Really? Well, I would say not one that stands out if it's if it's not very flattering. Okay, well he's gonna be my bailout. I mean we have Javarius Gray who who's got an A minus in stiff arm, but I know that I know that carrying 
is better than stiff arm in terms of uh, drafting players. Mm. You know, that's what I do. All I do is draft people, man. So we make an art. Fucking hey, I'm gonna take Karan Bentley. Karan Bentley, the Wisconsin running back. 77 overall quick, let's go! God damn it. I yeah. can't say that yet, but after after the last round, and this guy is sitting here staring me in the face, and I cannot say no to him. Because this fucker has a B-plus tackle, and he skipped the fucking combine. So uh, it's worth a shot, man. Stanley Culver, get your ass on my team. You got it. Seventy overall. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but, oh, I already know I'm gonna take uh, Illinois State. I haven't got his top three skill. Like I haven't got the first one, but third fastest, second in the broad jump, first in the twenty yard shuffle, fourth in the four in the three cone, and fourth in bench press. Okay. So. Oh fuck me, dude! How could you possibly be this this misleading? Like, that's not even fair, Madden. Like, that's not even fair, bro. Sixty-six what? overall. You got eight seconds, mate. Just letting you know. Yeah, we're gonna go wide. Three, screen. two, one. You got it. Fuck, dude. God, three nothing. Here we go. Sweep status right now. Five point two. I somebody said to me that. If somebody has a um above a five or a six combine grade, then they're pretty much guaranteed to be good in terms of offensive linemen. But I'm looking at Andre Suggs, and I'm not sure if it's five or six because if I if it's if it's if I take a guy with a five combine and it and it turns out that it's six, then I kind of just shot myself in the foot, man. I'm trying to get this sweep. I'm in the position to do so. Let's go ahead and do it, you know? Yeah. I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna take Emmanuel Gilliard. Let's go. Whoa! Uh, He's only a 70 overall, but that's that's still pretty high for me, to be honest. Three. 71, baby! Oh! Hey! You, so you took Kirksey, though. That was your pick. Yeah, Kirksey was my pick. I, I'm just gonna take Gabe, man. Doesn't have the best combine, but still has an A stiff arm. I'm just gonna go ahead and take him, man. Okay, man, you've met your match. Okay, I got 70 last round, but can you match 70 this round as well? Well, probably, probably take the power move, I guess. I mean, yeah, we'll do that. There's no point having a B tackle nope. if you can't get to the quarterback, right? You, you won. Fuck. As soon as as soon as I picked it, it had that brute sixty four overall. You won. The four one. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to. I just want to know what Wong was. I didn't even know who drafted Wong to be honest. Checking out uh, our 40, draft though, we didn't pretty solid, man. Forty niners. This is the. Pro I got you. This this is probably the best draft I've ever had in terms of like limited scouting. 79, 77, third round was a bust, but then we got 70, 70, 72, and 72. So, apart from one person, everybody was a 70 in that draft. Honestly, like, I I wouldn't mind trying my dude triplet out. Because, uh, I mean, he's a 77 overall, even though he's slow development, right? But, 96 speed, 93 excel, 91 agility... Let me look at this carrying. It's 82 carrying, 77 ball carrier vision, 93 elusiveness, 85 juke move, 82 spin. No trucking because yeah, obviously can I ask you? he's a speed back. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I just want to give you a heads up. Have you actually looked at Wong yet? Nah, I was going to go over there after I went through my guy. And, oh shit. 84 superstar this is what I was talking about oh my god the short and medium accuracy is off the fucking chart dude, the this... throw power look at the speed dude the speed is 75 that's not great but it's a quarterback but for a quarterback that's that's Aaron Rodgers right there dude 
88 agility. Uh -huh. What the fuck? 76 Excel? Dude, come on, Anto the boss. <laughs> dude, dude like... he's the 17th. Dude, he is the 17th best quarterback in the NFL, and he hasn't even taken a snap yet. Yeah, put him in the top 8% of quarterbacks. He's a balanced QB style, tight spiral. Oh, my God. See, this is what I was talking about when I took... Whenever they show down there, they're like, oh, he's guaranteed to be the number one pick. Look at that. 84 overall. Same one that, that I got on mine. And yeah, dude. Dude, Wisconsin, Wisconsin must have won the, the national championship. Natty? Cause yeah, dude, because when you go look at the team tons. that I built together, dude, I even took the second string running back from Wisconsin. And he was still And he good. even turned out to be a 72 quick. It was yeah. Levingston, Jason Levingston. So, oh, he, he was a normal. My bad. But we got Dingle from Wisconsin, who was a 79 overall. Then we picked up Karan Bentley in the second round, who was 77. Yeah. Uh, anybody else? No, that was it. Then we got Jason Levington. So both first and second string running backs from Wisconsin went in that draft, and both were over 70. Yep. Dude, that's fucking... That's nice. Dude, Mike Dingle looks like a fucking animal. Like, this guy looks like... Mike Dingle looks like the type of guy that could go into any club and just pick up any single girl he wanted just from the smirk on his face. I don't know. <laughs> this guy's got, like... Like, this dude's confidence is overwhelming me right now. <laughs> so, the question is... Are you going to highlight Dingle? Or are you going to deal... Ooh. Are you going to highlight Bentley? That's like well, that's maybe a... maybe instead of playing as an individual player for a spotlight video, perhaps I should play as the team so I can use Karan on offense and I can that's... use Mike Dingle on defense. That's actually a really good idea. So I can highlight everybody. That might actually be a good idea too. Yeah. And then I can even dude. We took three running backs in that draft, and I know everybody talks about it all the time, but I know the Bears have a dope ass running back. From Indiana, I know who you guys are talking about because you got pissed at me when I got Zeke. I understand that, but we just took three running backs. Mm -hmm. But regardless, man, I'm I'm still looking pretty hard to doing some sort of a spotlight. Like it's got to be Mike Dingle, it's got to be Bentley. Uh, I mean, my, I I might even take it a step further and play as Martz, who was my worst pick, only because he's a Dude. he's a natural middle linebacker. And then have everybody else revolve around Mars. Like, I'll send Dingle on the blitz. I'll play as Bentley as well. Make sure he gets his runs. Levingston, like, you know what I mean? I should have taken that middle linebacker like I was looking at. Fuck. From who? Uh, the linebacker from Old Miss. The, uh, the Bengals took him. Yeah. And he's a 77 superstar. Fuck, dude. Oh, Arnox, that's, yeah, I was looking at that dude as well. Holy shit, 79 superstar, that's dope as hell. Yeah. And then, he was a guy with the A-. minus. Uh-huh. And, and he's six foot at middle linebacker. Damn. 79 quick for the Bills. Dude, the Broncos went back-to-back, 76-77. The Browns got a 78 quick. Holy shit, the, the Broncos really made use of their pick. Hold on, oh, yeah. dude, hold on, really, hella quick. I'm going to record my outro. I'm going to go grab my dinner, and I'll be right back there. I'm fucking starving, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys, so obviously I, I I, really I didn't have a good feeling about this one altogether because whenever we have to do a restrictive, uh, restrictive draft, I suck balls. And I can openly admit that. I suck balls when we do drafts like these. Um, but, honestly, it's a blast. I always love hanging out with Param. I love doing this shit. Uh, because you never know what you're going to get. Especially in something that is so confined like this. So when you do get a good one, it's like, yes, let's go. Like when I got that 71 overall strong safety. It was just like, I didn't see that coming, and just all of a sudden, bam, there you go. So, guys, thank you for sticking around, watching the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. Keep up with all the action. We do this shit 
two, three times a week. Um, also, uh, smash that like button, guys. You guys have been killing the like goals, not only on the Draft Wars videos, but on all my fucking videos, dude, and all my streams. Like, I fucking love you guys. So, definitely, we're shooting for 20 likes on this one. Uh, show your boy some love. Uh, and, I, as always, y'all have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you may live, please be safe. Peace out, motherfuckers. I will see you next time. Later.